looking back, got their tails up all right, but I didn't know what to expect, just hadn't a clue. It is deadly warfare. You were facing the Germans. into the sack, shelf like hell. It was to get used to plunging them into somebody's body. Over the top. And after this, we lived in a world of noise. It's simply noise for hours. As soon as you get over the top, fear has left you. When we didn't run, there was no shouting, no cheering. Everybody was deadly quiet. Just as I stepped into no man's land, somebody was shot through the head and his skull was splintered. It wasn't a good send-off, I can assure you. The barrage proceeded into the enemy lines in steps of 100 yards at a time. A line of British troops, the fixed band, is walking quite steadily behind the barrage. It was a sight I should never forget. To start with, we'd had the odd machine gun firing, but remarkably little, and it seemed almost too good to be true. And we then realized that the Germans had been retaining. myself a uh, terrible pain in the left hand as if somebody had caned me and uh, I found a big hole in it. A man was running across the front of me and he was shot through the body because the contents of his wallet were flung out forward of me. One had no sanity at all because the inferno was so blasting that you had no time to think. You don't look, you see, you don't hear, you listen, you taste the top of your mouth, your nose is filled with fumes of death. The veneer of civilization has dropped away. A shell had hit this man, it knocked off his left arm, knocked off his left leg, his left arm is hanging on his cheek, and he's calling out a nanny. He's bleeding loud, hanging on a pulse thing. So I shot him. I had to, I had to shoot him. He'd have died in any case, and it put him out of his misery. But it hurt me. Huge poster. All hostilities will cease on the Western Front at 11 o'clock on the 11th of November 1918. So we said to each other, What day is it? And somebody discovered it was November the 11th. And then we had to shine our boots and clean our buttons. We knew the war was over then. And we were quite confident that we would be there when it ended. This proclamation was read out stating that the hostilities were ceased from 11 that morning. And actually, there wasn't a cheer of any kind raised when that was read out. At 11 o'clock, the noise of the gunfire just rolled away like a peal of thunder in the distance. <laughs> 